guys, it's Zero Stars, and um, this is the final episode for this modern house. Uh, it's gone on for quite a while, and uh, probably somewhere around a good year or so of putting up videos, and uh, it's finally finished. Um, I had worked on this house for about a month, month's time, and, uh, you know, just splitting it up into pieces from there, recorded it, and then of course I had to edit it all and uh, had other videos so they were kind of spread out uh, between time time periods and um, you know different updates came out so I added some different things and um, yeah this is the final product of this modern house um, I started this when before 1.5, I think it was 1.4.2, so they didn't didn't have quartz, so I had used iron blocks uh, back then. That's why I had iron on this. Uh, as you can see, added a few different few different things. This is one of the things that I did off camera. I have my doorbell, so that's. That's the doorbell. We got the nice pathway uh, fountain. You know, this was all done on camera quite a while ago. And uh, yeah, it's, I, I think it is the uh, this is the centerpiece of the house right here. I mean, a custom tree growing <laughs> through through the whole house. I mean, first, second, and third story. That's a pretty cool, pretty cool feature. And uh, none of this is rolled at it, so. This was, you know, this. I think this was my first custom tree. But <laughs> anyway, then a lot more uh, since then. Because it's been somewhere around 10 months, if I'm not mistaken, uh, that all these episodes have been coming out. There's like eight or so episodes that are uh, like 30 minutes long. So. You know, I mean, that's, that's quite a bit of uh, gameplay for this. Plus getting all the redstone for dummies uh, and all of that out. And keeping up with school and vacations and things with summer is quite a hassle. So it did take me quite a while to get this, this house out. But, um, yeah. So a few things that I did add um, off camera are these guys right, right there. Beacons beacon lighting. So if I turn it to uh, night, they work quite well for lighting. Uh, I added the carpet instead of wool on the ground. Um, this has stayed the same, basically. A little sunroom here. And nice, big windows. And I have some beacons up here, too. I don't know why that tree is lit on fire. It's, that's odd. And I placed it along this this river here, uh, between a jungle and a desert biome. Uh, this was all completely. This wasn't flat at first. I had to flatten that out <coughs> off camera before I started building. Why I'm typing night? That makes no sense. <coughs> but anyway, we got a nice TV here. Here's the kitchen. Uh, some things I added off camera. I had buttons all over here, but I figured that didn't look very good, so I just added um, trap doors around here and then shelving with trap doors. It took me about, you know, 30 seconds. Here's um, the first large deck over here. Uh, we have the first bathroom, kind of small, working bathtub. I try to add the working bathtub into each bathroom. Toilet, not the best toilet, but whatever. And uh, you got the, your sinks, which I need to exchange those for cauldrons, but I think it still works pretty good. Uh, upstairs, as you can see it's a pretty, pretty good like down. Got more carpet up here, just added that. Same in here, because it was all iron. Iron floor, so you still got these from the buttons, but I think it looks fine. Uh, master ba master bathroom, got like tile carpeting. <laughs> Another working bathtub, 
Of course, you kind of got to sit in this corner, but still works with the space I had. Uh, another sink shower. I'm pretty sure this one works too. Yep. So, yeah. Uh, four redstone um, contraptions in this house so far. Pretty small, and I need to toggle it down small. Why wasn't I just trained there? It rains in the. This is the one good thing is it rains in the jungle, but not in the in the desert biome. So I'm technically in the desert biome right now. Uh, I go across a bridge, which is kind of like the hallway. Didn't want to make a giant um, <laughs> rectangle coming out of the ceiling, so I made a bridge, and you can just kind of see down. See, you can fall off if you <laughs> if you would like. Um, and then you just got the guest bedroom over here. You'll probably have to use the, the bathroom downstairs, but yeah, kind of a cool bed set up, very modern. And uh, yeah, I got some leaves. And this this house was kind of built around around the tree. Um, I had I had drew I, I had drawn it on paper. I drew it on paper. Whatever, however you're gonna say that. I'm just slurring my words right now. And uh, this was my original idea, is having the tree. And then to incorporate that, which I'll go to the third and final story. So here's second. And here's the third. You kind of walk up these stairs. And it's just this nice little kind of rooftop garden area. You know, kind of nice path. Kind of cute, um, and you can kind of see down there. And I um, just have a pathway, and you know, waterfalls coming down from there, and one on this side over here as well, um, under or on top of that deck area, and you can kind of see it flowing down into this river, which it flows into the pool, and over on the other side. And my cactus sneezed really bad. Okay. That was disgusting, kitty. And pause the video. That was disgusting. Disgusting. Alright, <clears throat> so anyway, that's the rooftop garden. I added some carpet over there because it was just kind of iron. Just kind of iron looking. Didn't, you know, appeal to me that much. So I, I did that. That was the one thing I didn't like about this house. Is I didn't have the floor be anything super uh, amazing. Uh, other than the first floor, I really love this piece right here. Um... Oh, and I have these. They're kind of like chandeliers, but I made them to go with the tree. It was kind of all based around nature. You know, I have vines and house and everything. You know, it's completely... Um, this axe is kind of a roof. No rain gets in here. Plus, we're in a desert biome, so <laughs> that helps. Uh, you know, you can go all the way up and just float through the house. And uh, anyway, you can walk around this way. you got some little... Little things here and there, fence, fenced off yard, pretty nice. Um, the back door comes out over here, and you know you got a pathway, of course. This one just leads to the lawn area and a nice seating area over here with a bench. Uh, you can go over the bridge, which of course goes over this little river, over to the bar area. Now this isn't just any bar. I mean, sure, you can go ahead and grab your wine and beer and, of course, your baked potatoes. I mean, your, your, your potatoes. Potatoes. But anyway, uh, this isn't just any bar. It is a wet bar. So I actually have the cauldrons here. And you can play your favorite music. 
Right, you know, sap and whatever in. Let's put. Where is it? Let's put the cat on the grill. How about that. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about, right there. But anyway, this is a wet bar. <laughs> and, uh, basically you can sit in the pool, and the bartender can, uh, give you a drink, and you can just sit here in the nice warm water. So that's, that's the basis of how that works. And, uh, yeah. The, and this is what this, if you're wondering what this whole rock formation is in here, you can kind of parkour over, or you can just, you know, hop along. You don't even have to do that, I don't think. Okay, maybe you can't do it from this side. But you can from this side, I'll tell you that. Yeah, let's see. But in here we have our little hot tub. These guys are overgrowing a little bit. But, you know, I've got our nice hot tub, and you have a little secret passageway over here. Kind of cool. Little scenery in there. Some lighting. Hence the, the hot tub. Uh, can't make a hot tub in Minecraft very, very easily. Got a little lighting. You know, changing rooms in here. Good finds. I just need to like prune these things. I'm not, sh I'm not sure if you can make them stop growing somehow. And just a little kind of a kitchen area, a little stool and stuff. It's kind of kind of cool. That would be kind of an interesting piece to add to this nice house. And of course, we got this fancy fencing over here. Kind of separates you from your little oasis here in the desert. And yeah, guys, I think that's basically um, basically the end of this episode. So uh, anyway, I'll see you later guys. This was Ralstars Productions.